Hello, my name's James Clark from King's College London, and in this short video I will show you how to access and navigate key information for your projects in GraphPad Prism. When you first open Prism, you'll be presented with the Welcome to GraphPad Prism screen, as shown here. From this startup screen, you can start a new table and graph in one of many formats. You can open an existing file from your computer, open a file from lab archives, clone a graph from an existing project, or use the graph portfolio. Whether you choose to create a new table and graph or open an existing file, Prism will open up in Project View. In order to demonstrate the content of a Prism project file, rather than using a blank file, I'll load an existing project file. You can have multiple Prism projects open at one time, and you can navigate between them just under the menu bar here. At the moment we have Sheet 1 open. If I click over to the left, I can open the Untitled 2 project that we just created. You can also close projects from this menu bar. Now I just have one project open called Sheet 1. A PRISM file is a single project, but can contain multiple data, results, graphs and layout sheets. The PRISM project window is divided into two main sections. On the right hand side you have your actively selected datasheet, graph or layout. And on the left hand side you have the navigation panel. Included within the navigation panel is the family panel. You can show or hide the navigation panel by clicking on the show hide navigation panel button which you'll find on the bottom left hand side of your PRISM window. Your PRISM project file is made of a series of sheets. A sheet is a combination of experimental data, analysis, information, graphs and layouts. You can have up to 500 sheets in a single PRISM project. You navigate within your GraphPad project using the navigation panel on the left hand side. The navigation panel is divided into sections. At the top you have your data and results. Underneath that you have your project information. Underneath that you have your graphs. And at the bottom you have a series of layouts. Your data section with results consists of your raw experimental data the data you want to analyse and show in graphical form. For instance, we have three sets of data on the screen in front of us, and within experimental data set 1, we have access to a repeated measures one-way ANOVA that we carried out previously. Whilst data pages simply contain your raw data, results pages might include multiple tabs. For instance, this one-way ANOVA has multiple comparisons which appears as a second tab within the results section. Here we are showing data with results as a combined section in the navigation pane. If you wish to show your data and your results as two separate sections in the navigation pane, you can simply go to the PRISM Preferences and in the top you can select whether to show or not to show data plus results. If I deselect this option now, and press OK, you will see that now our data tables are in the top section and our results are underneath. Sometimes showing data and results tables in a nested format is a convenient way of keeping tabs on your analyses. In the project information you can enter information regarding your project such as experimental conditions, reagents and who carried out the experiment and you can add multiple information panes to describe the different experiments that you've carried out simply by clicking on the New Info Plus button. Underneath the information pane are your graphs. The graphs section includes all of the graphical representation of the raw data entered in the data tables. You can have multiple graphs for any one data set. Here you can see three separate graphs from three separate sets of data. What is very convenient is when you highlight a graph, the corresponding dataset appears bold. 
So for instance, if I select experimental data 1, experimental data 1 raw data set is also highlighted, which enables you to quickly navigate between the data sets. However, there are some shortcuts for navigation, which I'll talk about in a minute. Also within the graph section will be residual plots and other statistical analyses plots that have been created as part of your experimental analysis. You can easily create a new graph from existing data by clicking on the New Graph Plus button at the bottom of the graphs pane. Underneath the graphs are the layouts. Layouts are pages set up to display graphs or data or imported graphical objects. A layout can consist of multiple graphs in different formats, single graphs with analysis underneath, or compositions of graphs. You can easily add a new layout by clicking on the plus button next to New Layout at the bottom of the Layouts pane. As with the Graphs section, when you select a layout, the corresponding graphs that are used in that layout are highlighted in bold along with their tables. So it is very easy to see, for instance, from Layout 2 that we are using the graphs from Data 1 and Data 2 which come from the data set Data 1 and Data 2. What is very convenient in PRISM is if you change your mind and want to relabel any of your data sets, simply start at the top and we can relabel by double-clicking this data set, for instance, to Data 1A and we hit the Return button all of the corresponding graphs and data analysis change their names. Therefore you can easily keep track of your data and your graphs and therefore your layouts for publication within a single PRISM project. One of the smart features of GraphPad PRISM is the Family panel. You can find this at the bottom of the Navigation panel. The Family panel navigates within a single sheet of data. In this example the active data table is experimental data 1A. Therefore, down in the family panel, we see all related data to data set 1A. We can navigate very quickly between the data, the analysis, the graph, and all layouts that involve this data set. Choosing another experimental data group, in this case data set 3, you can see we've also got access now very quickly to the dataset 3 graph and the two associated layouts. What's important to note is the family navigator doesn't change the active sheet, it simply navigates between parts of the same data set. So using the navigation panel and the family panel, you should be able to navigate through your data sets in your GraphPad PRISM projects with ease.